sadly, we've seen an increase in harassment and hate crimes fueled by anti-Asian racism over the past year. This can be attributed to the absolutely disgusting and abhorrent anti-Asian rhetoric uh, that's been spouted off uh, since the beginning of the pandemic. If you witness someone being harassed, there are things you can do as a bystander to intervene without escalating the situation. And if you hear anti-Asian racist remarks, speak up and shut it down. Strategies and resources for this will be down in the description. I watch a lot of TV. Even for lockdown standards, it's a larger than average consumption. Drama, comedy, documentary, sci-fi, animation, dare I admit reality, TV. Yeah, all of it, all the time, constantly, always. I actually minored in media studies in college and one time I wrote a 30 plus page term paper that was a gender-based comparison of weeds and Breaking Pad and I loved every second of it. I love TV. As a result, trying to watch TV on a single board computer, AKA the search for the perfect DIY media consumption device, you could say I've dabbled. Uh, and there's actually a couple videos in the backlog of this channel on the topic. However, with everything I've tried over the years, they all come up empty. Just a bunch of hyped up, clickbaity, hacked together non-starters. But that all changes with one word, widevine. In the simplest of terms, and I mean simplest, I just want people to understand basically what it means, Widevine is a DRM tool or technology that all the big streamers use. We're talking Netflix, Hulu, etc. Uh, a content decryption module or CDM is found in your popular internet browsers and uh, st home streaming devices uh, to allow you to watch that media back. Basically, it's a lock. The CDM is the key. It lets you see what's happening. Widevine has never been available on Raspberry Pi and Raspberry Pi OS or previously Raspbian before. There were hacks, people would talk about different things, they'd be like, it's working, but it, it wasn't. Until now, that all changes now. Now it's available. You can install a Widevine CDM into Chromium on a Raspberry Pi 4 using the most recent version of Raspberry Pi OS. And you do it with just three lines in the terminal sudo apt update, sudo apt full dash upgrade, and sudo apt install lib widevine cdm zero. And there you go, that's it. However, I didn't image my first disk yesterday. This isn't my first change directory. I needed to test to see if this was actually going to work and not just for five minutes. I needed to really put it through its paces. So I proceeded to do my favorite thing. I watched TV. On Sunday afternoon, I watched the entire second half of the final season of Breaking Bad. I just rewatched it for the first time in years. Uh, that was on Netflix. And then I watched two episodes of At Home with Amy Sedaris. That's on HBO Max. This was done with a Raspberry Pi 4, eight gigabytes of RAM. Uh, audio and video were going out via HDMI uh, and everything was full screen. The maximum amount of RAM that can be used in a 32-bit OS like Raspberry Pi OS is four gigs per process. So this is essentially uh, the same performance you would see with a Raspberry Pi 4, four gigabyte, uh, just not with multitasking. And if you're streaming, you're probably just gonna have streaming running. That's what I was doing. I only saw one issue every once in a while. Very random, very intermittent. I'd see some screen tearing at the bottom third of the screen when full screen. Uh, this occurred on Wi-Fi and Ethernet. I don't know what it was. I couldn't really make a, a full connection, um, but it, it didn't really bother me. I just noticed every once in a while. I thought I should mention it. Now, since this is video, I was curious if RAM would affect performance. So after that marathon on Sunday, I switched to a Raspberry Pi for two gigabytes, so two gigabytes of RAM. 
uh, and it was the exact same performance. I watched the entire uh, first season of Euphoria over the course of two days uh, on HBO Max, same settings, HDMI out uh, for video and audio, um, Ethernet and Wi-Fi, everything was good, it was all good. So the verdict as of March 2021 is yeah, this works. This works so good, I'm so excited. This has been like the missing piece for Raspberry Pi as a media player this whole time. Uh, it's it's so exciting. I, I'm very excited. I, granted, as, as you've learned in this video, I'm a TV enthusiast, uh, but uh, this is so cool. Especially that works the two gig version. That's some budget stuff right there. That screen tearing issue that I mentioned could be a wide variety of causes. Uh, it could be the fact that it's an early release of the CDM. It could be my HDMI cable. It could be my TV. It could be something with the Raspberry Pi itself. It could be a lot of different things. Uh, I haven't delved in there, but like I said, it, it really didn't bother me too much. Um, it was random, it was intermittent, and if I was really engrossed in a show, I, I didn't notice it. But I always like to share any issues that come up on stuff, so that's all. Now, what this means for me, I would love to make this like a proper project. Maybe play around with making a theme for Raspberry Pi OS to make it a little bit more media player friendly or look into other OS's where this Widevine um, CDM is available. Uh, I'd also like to make maybe a custom remote as well, maybe with one of the NRF52840 uh, Bluetooth boards, CircuitPython. That could be nice, that could be good. It's early days yet, but th this, is, this is what I'm starting to think about. Because my motivation for trying this stuff from the beginning uh, is I want to have control of my streaming. I don't want to be tied to some box or smart TV or whatever you have it that will eventually be deprecated and I won't be able to use it. Uh, here's looking at you, my, uh, I think it was circa 2012 or 2013 Apple TV that no longer allows me to watch HBO. And that is why Widevine being available on Raspberry Pi OS without any weird stuff is very exciting to me. But let's go do it for this video. Three lines into the terminal and your golden pony boy. Uh, I'll have more uh, links in the description uh, talking about this, also Widevine in general for people that want to know like more about what it exactly means. Uh, thank you for watching, and until next time, this has been Blitz City DIY.